Welcome to the Illinois Dry Center. So when I was in Europe just a couple weeks ago, I made a video at a, at a pharmacy buying like um, eye drops and like lotions and like ointments for the eyes and things like that, that like you need a prescription to get here. Over there in a lot of places, you can actually just walk in to a pharmacy and just buy it. So that's what, exactly what I did. So in this bag is everything I bought. We can go over it today. So these are like things that we can buy, or that we can get a prescription for here, but we we can actually buy them in certain countries right off, right over the counter. So the first one is a neomycin antibiotic, and it looks like this. So it looks like super duper like stuff you put your needle in and take and, and take things out of there. And this one, you take this off. And it has this little nipple and goes on top, and that's how you get this liquid out of here, okay? So this is actually a liquid antibiotic, 10 milliliters. So that's the first one. What I really like about the um, the packaging over there, and I'll show you that guys right now, if you zoom in right here, is it has these little bumps on the side, and I've seen this in French medicine as well. This is for blind people to be able to read Braille. So if you're, if you're a person that can't see, you can literally read what medicine you have. They don't have this here in the United States. This is something pretty cool. And you can tell the price that I paid right here. It says five. That's not $5, but five marks from Bosnia, which translates into like $3.25. So this bottle of, of liquid ophthalmic antibiotic cost me $3.25. Unheard of here, you can't get that stuff for here. So this is all educational. We're not gonna use any of this stuff, but I bought it so we can you know, talk about it. So that's the first one. I'll put that one back in there. Okay. So the next one we have is Maxitrol. Maxitrol is pretty popular here. Um, made by Alcon, same company. The case, the packaging is really, really similar to stuff that I've seen overseas before. And this is Maxitrol ointment. So this stuff made by Alcon here costs, hmm, probably 80 to over a hundred bucks, this little tube. And let's take a look at the price that I paid for it. It doesn't say a price, but I do remember what I paid for it. I paid about six bucks here for this little, little tube, right? So that's that. These don't have um, the little braille for, uh, for people that have poor vision, they don't, this one this one doesn't come with that. Um, so I'm guessing this one's probably made somewhere in France or something like that because that's like a calling card of some of those countries. So that's the Max Trout ointment. Then we have an ointment, Tobidex. Also super duper popular. We write it a lot out here in the States. It's Tobermycin dexamethasone. So it's an antibiotic and a steroid put together. Also the ointment, also by Alcon. Also cross seas because these this little these little like air, uh, lines and things like that means they're now here they're at cross seas it's like almost Adidas lines also very very expensive here also like six bucks over there so I wanted to buy all the ones that I, I was interested in and um, and I could literally I was just kind of pointing at the shelf and telling her what to give me and she gave me everything um, and then I asked I was like well do people need a prescription to get these um, in this country and she said usually they do but. Since the, the country has a lot of social help and like, you know, it's a, it's a social type of country, social type of country, so we provide this for the patient as, as a convenience. I was like, so, so you legally need a prescription, but you guys are conveniently breaking the law so people can buy it. Um, but the laws over there are really, really iffy and pretty much they'll sell you anything at the, at the convenience. So I could literally walked in and bought, you know, a ton of different antibiotics and like stocked my, you know, my medicine cabinet at home. I didn't because I like to go to the doctor and know exactly what's wrong with me before I you know, start taking things. Um, but yeah, over there you can buy anything you want. Um, next in line also has the little bumps for Braille. This is Tobervis Combo. So that means it's Tobermycin, Dexamethasone, similar to Toberdex, but it's another off brand. It's not Alcon, it's, a, it's one of those European brands. Also costs about five bucks. Um, nice long tube. Um, so yeah, so this is also very, very inexpensive, also for the eyes. And um, we'll add that one to the list. And then I'll tell you guys what I paid total for everything. You'd be shocked. And then another Tobradex, but this is actually not Tobradex, it's actually Tobrex. So not Tobra, but Tobrex. Uh, so what this one is, is just a Tobramycin 
um, ointment for the eyes. So Tobramycin is Tobramycin dexamethasone, which means Tobramycin is antibiotics. The antibiotic portion, dexamethasone is the, um, the anti-inflammatory, the steroid portion. This one is just pure Tobramycin ointment. Um, so, you know, good for you know younger kids, you know, younger patients that you don't want to put a, a, um, you know steroid on their eyes or things like that. So also a really really cool one. And I try to kind of stick with um, ointments because drops are drops. I mean, I can get drops anywhere. Um, I wanted to get this one because it was unique and it was cool, it had that cool vial, but majority of those stuff is, is ointment. And the last, but not least, this one we're not gonna include because this is just a gentamicin skin ointment. I got this for scrapes and cuts and bruises for my kid. Um, and then this one is a, um, so it says ocular, um, what's it called, um, ointment. That's what this means. It's got braille again. And this one is just neomycin and bacitracin together. So this is a combo of two different antibiotics. Really, really cool. I really like this, um, the combo, and I wanted to see the braille again. Um, so this is the, this is this is the one that I got as well. So in total, one, two, three, four, five, six different medicines that probably would total here in the states somewhere around like three, four, maybe five hundred bucks, maybe three hundred plus. Um, I I got all this for about thirty bucks U.S. dollars. All this stuff was 30 bucks US, and that gets me into how if our pharmaceutical system is here is, I think we pay a lot of the premiums so other countries can negotiate and get the cheaper stuff, is because, you know, one of these will pay, like, some people will walk into the pharmacy and with their insurance, they'll pay like 120 for one of these with the insurance, where you can go, you know, get a plane ticket, go, go attend the country for like a 600 bucks, and, and save like a hundred bucks or a hundred and ten dollars on, on one of these simple, simple medicines. So things that we need to fix in our medical system um, that other countries I think are reaping benefits because we get, you know, top-notch pricing and then other countries get to negotiate their own pricing um, and benefit off of, I guess, our detriment. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all different stuff that you could buy right over the counter in places like Mexico, certain countries in Europe, so every time I travel, I like to go and buy stuff. I'll be in Mexico in a couple of months again uh, for a wedding. Um, so I'll try to buy some stuff there and like we'll do this again. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Signing out.